Does anyone need me to do any bit of number one? No. Nope. Any bit of number two? No. Nope. Any bit of number three? Good. Any bit of number four? Can you do three pairs? I, I, I. I will. Okay, so question three. Um, the arithmetic sequence is 2, 6, 10, 14, dot, dot, dot. So part three asked me to find Tn. So it's an arithmetic sequence, so I'm allowed to use this formula. So off you go to the log tables and you get this formula. Right, A is the first term, so A is 2, and D is the common difference. So the common difference is what you're adding on each time. So I'm adding on a 4 each time. So D is the common difference. Okay, so Tn is equal to A is 2 plus N minus 1 times D is 4. Right, just put the 4 in front of the bracket. Well, you don't have to, you can multiply out, but just in case you want to know what exactly I'm doing, put the 4 in front of the bracket. Multiply it out and tidy it up. So Tn is 2 plus 4 by n is 4n. 4 by minus 1 is minus 4. So that means Tn is equal to 4n. And I have 2 take away 4 is minus 2. So that's it. And then the rest, the second bit of number th part 3 asked me to find T20. So all I have to do is use the rule I've just got. And everywhere I see, I'm looking for term number 20. So that means n is 20. So everywhere I see an n, stick in a 20. So it's 4 times 20 minus 2, which would be 78. Is that okay? So that was number 3. Are we okay with that? Anyone want me to do any yeah. bit of number 4? Any bit of number 4? No, we're okay. Number five, anybody? And number six, anybody? Okay, right. So what I what I want to do is before I move on to the next section, I'm going to move on to the next section because it's pretty much part of this section, right? I just want to look at question ten. So on page one, two, three, question ten. So it's page one two three okay so it's the same page as the homework was on last night okay i just want to do question 10. find an expression for tn for the arithmetic sequence so it's two six <coughs> ten which i think is just the same one we've just done but it said find tn so we're going to do that first so Tn, it's an arithmetic sequence, so I can use the formula a plus n minus 1 times d. So a is the first term, which is 2, and d is the common difference, which is what you're adding on each time, which is 4. 2 to 6, you add on 4. 6 to 10, you add on 4. So d is the common difference, which is 4. This just happens to be the same sequence that was in the example I just did. So Tn is equal to a is 2, n minus 1, don't fit in for n, d is the common difference, which is 4. Put that number in front of the bracket so you remember to multiply everything by the 4. So that's tn is equal yeah. to 2 plus 4n minus 4. So that means tn is equal to 4n minus two okay so i'm confident he can do the first bit okay but it's just the second this bit second bit of this question i want to tell you about okay so it says for what value of n is tn equal to 46 so basically we're looking for what number term is 46 so if you were to keep going 14 18 and so on all the way up to 46 how many terms would you have written out? That's the question. Now you could physically do it. You could write them all out and count up the terms and you get full marks. Okay, 
but just in case it's a really big number and you'll be there for the year right now to terms what you do is you take your 4n minus 2 so you know tn is 4n minus 2 you know you want to fill in something for n and end up with 46 so you just let it equal to 46 and then it's just algebra n's on one side numbers on the other so leave the 4n leave the 46 Bring the minus 2 over the wall, it becomes a plus 2. So you get 4n equals 48. And there's a 4 stuck to the end, so divide each side by 4. And you end up with n is equal to 12. Okay? Just wanted to do that example before I move on. Okay? Any questions on that? No. Right. Moving on, so to the next section. Okay. We're still on arithmetic sequences, right? Okay, so when we're talking about A and D, girls, they're going to give us more information about a sequence and we have to figure out what A is and what D is, right? Remember, A is the first term and D is the common difference. So A is the first term and D is the common difference. What you're adding on every time. So. Common difference. Okay, is that right? Okay, now to make some room. Right. Okay, right. Example one. So this is, it's not like before where they give me the actual sequence. They're only giving me bits of information. So we're they're telling me term number four of an arithmetic sequence is 11. So, and term number 9 is 21. So I don't know the first term. I don't know the second term. I don't know the third term. I don't, I do know the fourth term. The fourth term is 11. Then I know, I don't know the fifth term. I don't know the sixth term. Right. I don't know the seventh term. Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't know the eighth term. Right. But I do know the ninth term is 21. Okay, so they've given me two pieces of information. Okay, so I know I'm adding on D every time. So, so you add on the common difference. So you add on D, adding on D. Okay, add D to go from 11 to there, you add on D. To go from there, you add on another D. To go to there, you add on another D. To go to there, add on D, right? Okay, add on D. I know that's pain writing it all up. Right, but to go from 11 to 21, you added on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Ds. So you took 11 and then you added on D five times. So that's five Ds, right? And you got 21. Agreed? Okay, so you started with 11. You add it on a D five times, so five D's is five D. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, you got 21. Okay, so then it's algebra solving for D. So you get 5D is equal to 21. Bring over the 11, it becomes minus 11. So you get 5D equals 10. So there's a 5 stuck to the D, so you divide each side by 5, and you end up with D is equal to 2. Okay, so that means you're adding on 2 every time. And check out your answer. So if D is 2, that means that one would be 13, that one would be 15, that would be 17, that would be 19. So I'm right, right, 21. Now I'm not finished. Right, because I found out what the common difference is, but they also asked me for the first term. So to go forwards, I add on D. So to go backwards, I take off D, wouldn't I? So that I'm taking off two, that would get me nine. And go back here, that would be a seven. And therefore, that one there at the very beginning would be a five. So the first term is five. So that's what they asked me to do. 
find A and D. They asked me another bit now. I'll get that in a minute. Right. Okay. To find term 50, I probably have to get T in first. Okay. Because I could write out 50 terms, but I'd be there for a while. So what I might do is, see, they, they also asked me to find term number 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Tn first. So Tn is the formula A plus N minus 1 times D. So Tn is equal to A. I just figured out was 5. Remember, you don't fill in for N. And D, I just figured out was 2. So rewriting that, that's Tn is equal to 5 plus 2 bracket n minus 1. Okay, I'm going to go over here now, if that's okay. So I'm going to multiply out. So I get Tn is equal to 5 plus 2n minus 2. Multiplying in there by the 2. So you get Tn is equal to 2n and 5 minus 2 is 3. Now, they didn't ask me for TN, though. They asked me for term number 50. So term number 50 just means in there, everywhere I see an N, put in a 50. So it's 2 times 50 plus 3 into the calculator with that. That'd be 103. So if you were to write out 50 terms, the 50th term would be 103. Is that okay? Right, can I take it away? Scream, no, no. someone said no, it's fine. Tell me when you're done, whoever said no. Yeah, you can take it away. Right, thank you. Right, everyone else okay? Going, going, gone. Right, okay, right. In an arithmetic sequence, T3, so the third term is 4, and T10, the 10th term, is minus 17. Okay, so two parts. They want me to find the A and D, right, and then they want me to find the value of N for which Tn equals minus 47. Okay, so, right, so I don't know the first term. I don't know the second term. I don't know the third. Oh, sorry, I do know the third term. It's 4. Then I don't know number five, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, but I do number 10, it's minus 17. Okay, so I know term number three and I know term number 10. Just make sure one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, so to go from four, to 17 I'd add on D then I'd add on D then I'd add on another D then I'd add on another D then I'd add on another D I'd, I'd add on another D and then I'd add on another D okay so you started with four you added on D one two three four five six seven you added on D seven times and I ended up with minus 17. Okay. Now you could also, you don't have to write it out like this. You could also go turn three to turn 10. There's seven terms in the difference. So that means I must have added on seven Ds. Okay. Then your algebra Ds on one side, numbers on the other. Okay. So. So you leave your D, 70 stays there, minus 17 stays put, 4 comes over the wall and becomes minus 4. So we get 7D equals minus 21. Then you divide each side by 7 and you end up with D is equal to minus 3. So that means I'm minus and 3 every time. So check your answer. 4 minus 3 is 1, minus 3 is minus 2. Minus 3 is minus 5, then I go to minus 8, then I go minus 11, minus 14, 
and finally I end up at minus 17 so I'm right okay so now I need to go back and find the a the first term so remember I'm taking away three every time so this number take away three gave me four so that means that must be seven and this one here must be ten because ten take away three is seven take away three is four take away three and so on okay so that means that the first term must be 10 okay and then part two girls says find the value of n for which tn equals 40 minus 47 okay so basically they want you to keep going right until you get to minus 47 so you were at minus 17 they want you to keep going as far as minus 47 and then count how many terms there is right that's long-winded to write it out Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Tn first. So Tn is just the formula, which is A plus N minus 1 times D. So fill in. So Tn is A is 10 plus N minus 1 times D was minus 3. Okay, so as I say, put the D at the front. Okay, can I move it up? Have I cut anyone off? Probably, have I? Right, put the three at the minus three at the front, okay? Because you need to be careful here because you're multiplying in by a minus, okay? So we get Tn is equal to 10 minus 3n plus 3. And that means Tn is equal to minus 3n and 10 plus 3 is 13. Now, they didn't ask me to get Tn. They told me Tn was equal to minus 47. So Tn was equal to minus 47. What number term? So I basically filled in for N and I ended up with minus 47. What did I fill in? What number term? So to do this, you leave Tn is minus 3N plus 13. You let that equal to minus 47. And then n's on one side, numbers on the other. So minus 3n equals minus 47 minus 13 when it comes over. So minus 3n equals minus 60. There's a minus 3 stuck to the end, so divide each side by minus 3. And you end up with n is equal to 20. So term number 20 was minus 47 so if you were to keep going with that for 20 whole terms you'd end up at minus 47 okay now i have one more example can i take it away no gone tell me when you're done Okay. Yes, yeah, cool. Right, okay, example three has got x's in it. In an arithmetic sequence, x plus one, two x minus two, two x plus one are three consecutive terms. So they're not necessarily term number one, two, and three, but they're three consecutive terms. So that means there are three terms in a row. It says find x. So three terms in a row. So remember, we don't know like how many terms are at the front. Okay, we just know that these ones are three terms in a row. Okay, and we don't know after that how many terms. We don't know whereabouts they are. Okay, but we do know that it's an arithmetic sequence. So that means if you add on the common difference, right, okay, you'll, you'll get to the next term. That's what an arithmetic sequence tells us. Okay, so that means if I say take in an arithmetic sequence, right, if I take this term and I take away the previous term, that'll give me D. As in, if this was 10 and this was 6, 
10 take away 6 would give me 4 and D would be 4, okay? I don't know what they are though, right? So this term, take away this term, will give me the common difference, won't it? Okay, also this term, 2x plus 1, take away the previous term, 2x minus 2, will also give me the common difference. Would you agree? Okay, so if this was 6, this was 10, 10 take away 6 will give me 4. That's the common difference. Or this one would be 14. 14 take away 10 would be 4 also. Right? I'm just making up numbers to try and explain what I'm doing. So if you take any term, someone asked me something. How, like how do those equal D? Because you know the way, right, if you add on D, add on the common difference. So you take this term, you add on D, you get this term. Agreed? Yeah. Right. Well, that means if you're adding, so if you take this term and you take away the previous term, you'll get D. Right. As in, right, just uh, bear with me a minute. So if I say 4, 6, 10 is a sequence. Right. Okay. Sorry, that wouldn't be right. It'd be 2, 6, 10 is a sequence. Okay, right? Okay, so what's the common difference here? What am I adding on every time? Four. Four, yeah, very good. Okay, right. So I just looked, what did I really do? I said, well, what I really did was six take away two is four, isn't it? So this term take away the previous term gives me the common difference. Would you agree? Six take away two will give me four. And also, 10 take away 6 would give me 4. So all I did here was this term take away the previous term will give me the common difference. And this term take away the previous term, the term before it, will also give me the common difference. So I'm basically saying 6 minus 2 will give me 4 and 10 minus 6 will give me 4. Okay, so I'm just taking a term, taking away the previous term and getting the common difference. I'm taking this term, taking away the previous term, and I'm getting the common difference. Okay? So, you can see, if they both give you D, they must be equal. So, if this one gives me D, and this one gives me D, they're both equal, aren't they? Okay, so that means 2X minus 2, take away X plus 1, must be equal to... Um, 2x plus 1 take away 2x minus 2. Okay? Because that's, that's D and that's D. So D equals D is basically what I'm saying. So now I'm down to algebra. So I'm just putting my x's on one side, numbers on the other. I just need more boards. Sorry. Sorry, I'm actually, that's 2x minus 2, right, minus, right, okay, so I'm multiplying out and then I'm going to put my x's on one side. I have a minus outside the bracket, remember a minus outside the bracket changes all the signs inside. So minus x and a minus by plus is a minus 1 on that side. Over on this side, 2x plus 1 Again, a minus outside the bracket changes all the signs inside the bracket. 2x and a minus by a minus is a plus 2. Okay? So then it's x is on one side, numbers on the other. So 2x is staying put. Minus 2 is moving. Minus x is staying put. Minus 1 is moving. I'm over here. That 2x is going over the other side. The 1 is staying. Minus 2x is moving. Plus 2 is moving. So that minus 2 goes over the wall and becomes a plus 2. That minus 1 goes over the wall and becomes a plus 1. This 2x goes the other way and becomes a minus 2x. And this minus 2x goes the other way and becomes a plus 2x. Okay? So then I put my x's together. So 2x take away 1x is 1x. 1x take away 2x is minus 1x. Plus 2x is 1x or just x. Okay, and over this side I have 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1, 
which is 3, 5, 6, right? So that x stands for 6, okay? I'm going to leave you with that. I won't give you one of them for homework because I don't think you're ready to try one yourselves. But I'll do another couple of those tomorrow. But on based on example 1 and 2, I want you to do page 1, 2, 6. Let's do, well, it's actually page 1, 2, 5 to 1, 2, 6. Let's do one to uh, one, two, six, except number five, because I did number five as one of my examples. So one to six, except number five. Okay, is that all right? Yeah. Okay, you can head off now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye now.